Stop getting mad at me. You know I'm right. What's up guys, Vince Dow here. Be sure to like and subscribe. So this week I posted a short video about the college football team with the woman coach that lost 98 to nothing. Now, a lot of people, including conservatives, are not happy with me over that, so let's replay the video as a refresher, and then we'll talk about their criticisms. Cue the video. Check this out. Yeah, that's exactly what you think it is. You are looking at the female tight ends coach for Warner University football. Well, it turns out after this video, their team lost 98 to nothing. I'm not necessarily saying there's a connection, I'm not saying there's a difference between men and women or something. I'm just stating the facts. I see nothing wrong with what I said, but I got a lot of angry comments like, Vince, I usually like you, but this is unacceptable, duh duh. People claiming I don't know football, people claiming I'm sexist, this and that. I'm going to address the two major responses that these people had. The first is that it had nothing to do with a woman coach. It was because you had an NAIA school playing an FCS school, which in layman's terms, you had a school several divisions above the other school playing each other, so it was a competition mismatch. Now, perhaps that's true, although we should point out that these games have happened before, and while they have been blowouts, they have not been historic 98 to nothing blowouts. But here's the problem with that. Even for their own competition level, Warner University football sucks. Going into last week's game, they were 0-3. And every single game thus far was against other NAIA teams. And every single game, they got destroyed in. Receipts are on your screen right here. So that FCS competition excuse falls out the window. Any way you slice it, they're still a bad football program, even for their own competitive expectations. So let's transition that into their second point, which is, she's just a tight ends coach. You're saying the only reason they lost is because they have one woman coach? No, I never said that, though that would be funny, okay? I actually told you to draw your own conclusions, but since you failed at that, I'm now going to draw the conclusions for you, which is this. While the woman coach is not the only reason that they suck, the very fact that they have a woman coach is reflective of a bigger problem within their football program, which is a lack of standards and competitive effectiveness. The woman is not the only cause of that problem, but judging by their offensive production in these games, she certainly is a part of it. But Vince, what does that have to do with the fact that she's a woman? Why shouldn't women coach men's sports? I can hear you saying. Well, firstly, for the reason that it's clearly not working, is it? But here's the thing. Deep down, I don't think that anyone really believes that women should coach men's sports. Even your most hardcore feminist has that intuition deep down. I think it's a biological thing, quite frankly, that they know this is weird. Okay, they may deny that and pretend like they don't hear it, but it's definitely there. For the sake of argument, let's spell that out, okay? So here you go. There are two reasons why women shouldn't coach men's sports. There's a social reason and there's a physical reason. Again, let's tune out all of your pseudo-intellectual ideological soup and boil this down to your most basic common sense intuitions. Do you think that college-aged men are going to respect the authority of a female coach? Of course not. If anything, they're thinking, you know, but as a woman for some type of guide for physical athleticism, Come on, you can think what you want about that, but live in reality for a second. Think about how real men that age are acting regardless of what you think. You know it's true. And the physical reason, the physical reason is that there's literally no way a woman has any degree of experience or knowledge of playing football at a high level. Don't get me wrong. We occasionally had uh, girls on our team when I was playing youth football growing up. Fun fact, I played Pop Warner football. But even at that age, even in like middle school, you want to know the truth? They were more or less treated like Make-A-Wish kids, okay? Like, I'm sorry, but it's true. Coach let them play. 
but you don't really put them in the heat of things. You don't put them in the important spots. You maybe may let them make a play or two here for the token ship, but you try not to get them hurt. You're gentle with them. Like, that's how it goes. That's how it always goes. Again, whether or not you agree with that. And even then, there's no way that a girl can physically last beyond maybe if you're lucky, if you're lucky, JV high school football. Because beyond that point, we all know it, biology kicks in. Puberty kicks in, it's over, okay? So I think that understanding and experience of the game that a potential female coach might have is just lacking. But even if you want to say, well, she can mentally understand and process the sport, I would also point out that the athletic difference between men and women isn't just about speed and strength. We fundamentally move differently, right? We run differently, we cut differently, all of our basic motor movements are different. If you don't believe me, watch women's soccer or women's basketball, if you care to do that, right, for five minutes. It doesn't just look like a slower or less competitive version of the male sports. It looks totally different. Why? Because it's not just about the pure raw speed and strength. All the movement, all the everything is different. So with that said, I can't help but be skeptical of a woman's ability to understand, much less replicate, much less coach proper movement, proper blocking, route running, catching, running, whatever form for a tight end at the college level. But you know what? I think we can argue this in theory, in principle, in abstraction all day long. However, I think there is one objective metric to prove who is right and who is wrong. What does the scoreboard say? Because the real football field is where all of your abstract arguments fall apart and it's just team versus team. So that's all that matters. And the scoreboard, the scoreboard says 98 to nothing. The scoreboard says you're 0 and 4. The scoreboard says this isn't working out. Okay, and it's that simple. So to Warner University football, get your act together, get your program together from top to bottom. And to the people getting mad at me, don't get mad at me. Get mad at the scoreboard. Get mad at the reality of the situation. Facts don't care about your feelings. Wink, wink. All right, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe for more. And until next time, alpha moves only. God bless and peace. See you guys.